Cyberpunk 2077. Great to have you on the broadcast. And thank you for being patient. I had to delay the start of the broadcast, uh, which was planned for earlier this morning. Uh, because uh, I stayed up way too late last night playing Resident Evil for um, Scotch and Smoke Rings, which was a lot of fun. But it was exhausting. And then I went on to try to fix my graphical issues with uh, Cyberpunk. Um, so the, the major one that I complained about a lot was not being able to find an, a 4K option in the system settings. And I discovered that that was actually the fault of my streaming setup and didn't really have anything to do with the game. Basically, I was playing 4K on this monitor, but then I was using my capture card as a second monitor, and it's only in HD. And when you use an HD monitor or secondary screen, and you uh, ex and you uh, copy a play or, clo or a display, if you clone a display from one from the 4K monitor to the HD monitor, they both get brought down to HD. So there's no way for me to record my broadcasts in 4K unless I get another 4K capture card, which I had for a long time until it crapped out on me. Thank you, Elgato. Uh, so uh, <clears throat> because of that, <clears throat> I decided to just embrace HD. So we're in 1920, 1080, and I maximized every possible setting I could possibly think of. Everything that's in the game, I maximized it. I also put all of the default settings back on, including motion, blur, and film grain. I figure, well, let's show off the game as it's intended. So, I look forward to uh, seeing how that changes the way that the game looks. Because of that... <clears throat> there we go. Alright, YouTube or Facebook chat is up. Let's go get YouTube. It. I also put all of and there we go It's working <clears throat> Good to see Joey and James on Facebook today And Nikolai and it's good to see all of the regulars and members on YouTube today Rachel Gertie the Grump John DeGiam Berardino Alt Grendel Danger Jim, Slatty Bartfast, Chidinator, Lane Berry, Courtney Zayas, Sesh the Cat, Don Quinton, Dennis Mickelson, A. Mike, Michael Mosky, Jancy, Antonio, Chidinator, Mr. Truth, and then Mark, <coughs> pardon me, from Gig Harbor, says, just wanted to pop in and say hello, have to miss this stream to avoid spoilers, but we'll see you again soon, Ox, Mark and Gig Harbor. Thank you very much, Mark, I totally understand. Uh, 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 there will be plenty of spoilers, I think, in today's episode, as we might actually reach the pro or finish the prologue today. That's the goal. James says, uh, uh, Hey, Ox and Co., surprised to see you playing this game, but I never tire of seeing you play. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Well, thank you very much, James. Tim Pitts, new member. Welcome, new, uh, new member Tim Pitts. And 123 You Lose Lol says, Hey man, I love your content. Thank you very much, 123. So glad you're here today. And I can't wait to dive back into the world of Night City. Are you ready? All right, I ran around the world when I was tinkering with my color settings. So let's go to my last manual save, which was right here in the apartment. Hey everyone, feels great to have you back. So then, did you all hear about that Arasaka aircraft carrier docked in Night City called Kujira, or The Whale? Apparently, the corp figured it wasn't safe in Japanese waters, afraid some local fishermen might harpoon it for scientific research. But honestly, it's quite the power move. Wonder what Militech will respond with. Maybe Myers will fly a rust bucket B-17 flying fortress over Arasaka HQ. Oh, man, that's, that is insensitive. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? President Myers. I mean, of course. <laughs> Gotta respect the office. Interesting. Anywho. I love that we get to listen to the news bits during the loading screen. <clears throat> so, yeah. Things are a bit darker. But I think this is the color setting that it's supposed to be at. And we can always fix that by opening the blinds. 
That brightens up the apartment a little bit. I, I missed this. I didn't even see that we had blinds uh, when I was at the apartment before. Great view of the city from the apartment. And I was just walking around and I discovered that we can watch TV by sitting on the couch while I was editing my uh, video settings. Here we go, let's watch. Antarcticans enjoy a murder rate of only 70 per 100,000 residents. Thank you for watching N54 News. We'll see you next time. And we can switch channels. Nothing more than a Lots of talk shows. To find the safest solutions. I think my favorite is the channel that's just ads. Oh god. Just ads. There we go. This is the channel that's just ads. Every <laughs> the only content is just advertisements. <laughs> Night City Police, of course, they've got some ads. Oh, this one's crazy. They're just great. The ads are so well done. <laughs> Mr. Truth says, Ox, did you install the new 1.4 patch? Is there a new patch? Uh, let me check my downloads to see. I didn't manually install anything, but I, it might have downloaded something while I slept last night. Uh, no, the last time I downloaded anything was at three uh, at 1.39 yesterday. 1.39 p.m. yesterday. Um, I don't have any updates required, so I must have it installed. Yeah, it says that it's up to date. So I must have the latest patch installed. I think, is there like a version? Yeah, 1.04 in the lower left-hand corner. Corner. See? It's the correct patch. Okay, let's continue with the primary quest. We are doing the heist now, and we need to head to the afterlife. <clears throat> Brian says, uh, I recommend saving up $45,000 and getting the charge lens from a ripper dock. It's basically marsupial from Fallout 76. Still catching up? I'll see ya. Thank you, Brian. Speaking of which, we should probably go to the Ripper Dock. Uh, we've got um, some money now. 45000 Well, we've got 15000 Do we spend that now, or do we save it up? Oh, we need to pay off our debt to Victor. And that, that's what, $25,000? Uh, we should save up. All right, instead of spending money at the Ripper Dock, let's save our money. Uh, hey, how's it going? So many dead. <laughs> why? 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 Learn deep shit. Hear me? Deep. Whoa. Okay. Hey, I got street cred. What there we go. What an awful place. Thank you. You're welcome, lady. I'm gonna. Can I steal your stuff? <laughs> Am I gonna get in trouble with this body just lying here? I don't think I'm in trouble. Are the cops gonna get me? I'll just reload if if that's gonna happen. I think I'm safe. Euro dollars. Revan Star says, how many hours, Ox? I don't know. Three, four, five? Huh? 
Well, that's a dead end. Okay, well it's a bit darker, and it is during the day. Like this is, um, this is what this this when block looks lurks, like during the day. Drama team will be there. Sign up for our platinum plan today because your life is worth it. Nine 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 nine. Drama team. But right, I'm trying to find this elevator. All right, I wish I had a flashlight. I've corrected my gamma settings and now it's really dark. That's too much. Oh, that's a little better. I mean, I can see a little bit better now, but it is kind of washed out. That's probably better for the stream though. Oh yeah. When danger lurks, drama team will be there. Sign up for our platinum plan today. Okay, I'll take that. Don't forget, you're worth it. How do we get out of here? Well, I should probably follow my compass up. We come in your way, night city. But soak in that sun while you can. There's a cold front moving in. Know what the worst thing is about this place? No. Everything sucks. Sorry, kid. I need a nap. Just a short one. Shit in piss, and it still smells better than this fucking dump. Lore. Big Five Employers in Night City 2077. It's that time of year again. We present our list of the biggest and best corps to work for in Night City. Oh, we actually already read this. From the very first stages of food production, we bring you lots of quality. All right. Let's see what you got. What I like to hear. A cellar junk. We already sold all of our un unneeded weapons, right? Do we have any outfits that we can sell? Oh, we got a new hat. Colorado Beetle Aramid Reinforced Helmet. Wow, that's way better than the hat I've got now. What? <laughs> Did I just find these here? All right, well, let's remove that. Switch to the helmet. Yeah. The last carapace you'll ever need. Well, that's what it looks like. Too bad the beard clips through. Actually, it doesn't look too bad right now. It looks like it's going underneath. And then did I get some glasses too? Yeah, 9.5. A pair of sunglasses better than this entire face mask. Darker speed square glasses. Price doesn't matter. Showcasing it does. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, and then everything else is the same, right? These are just the mods that are installed on it.
All right, well, I can sell that. And I can sell that. And we're good to go. Julian Z says, uh, Ox, so great to see you've been playing all morning. Try to stay ahead of you. We'll be there. If you need assistance with the game, let's have fun. Thanks, Julian. Actually, I just started. I Come started on. the broadcast late today because I got exhausted uh, after staying up way too late last night, tinkering with my cyberpunk settings. But I'm here now. All right, ground floor. So. We need to go to the afterlife. Do we drive there? Please, no. Oh, are people still freaked out because I shot that guy earlier? Okay, traffic jam. Let's see. Huh. Don't get in an accident, Ox. Don't run into anything. This is a joke. Fucking joke. I sent in a cop to a neighborhood like that a year before retirement. More like a goddamn death sentence. Tell me, Lena's about to crack. A few months in Northside, she'll blast herself. Hell of a good cop, too. Got her heart in the right place. Why'd he gotta do her like this? Oh. Eddie's true. Better to send someone who's on their way out already. Man, you gotta be a real cold-hearted bastard to think that way about Lena. About anyone. Yeah, but that's the system. Ain't got a better one. Reminds me of the short quest we did yesterday where we actually... Ooh, what's this? Hold on. Cool. Treasure chest. I know I could fast travel there, but I like taking the scenic route right now while I'm still learning the game, just to kind of get to understand the lay of the city and see all the sights. Okay, are you just gonna sit there, car? Julian Z says, Ox, you can also scrap junk for crafting supplies. Will do. Thank you, my friend. All right, I'm not going to sit behind this guy. I'm trying to obey the traffic lights because <clears throat> I don't want to get pulled over by the cops. Okay, it looks like this is it. Head to the afterlife. What is, is this the afterlife? Josh Bunton says, nah, Ox, they were freaked out because of you getting behind the wheel. Also, those cops are talking about a quest you get <clears throat> at the beginning of the next act. Okay, great. Well, I can't wait. Talk to Jackie. All right, so we need to find a guy named Jackie. Okay, so these are just residents. No one wanted. That's great. Hi there, chaps. I'm not in the mood. Looking good. About time, Okay. What do you want? It's the fucking world. 
So I'm hope I hope that I'm representing the game fairly. This is the game at max settings Later with then. all of the default default options enabled, including film grain and motion blur, uh, at HD 1920 1080. We're doing good on FPS. I'm running eh, between 45 and close to 60 FPS. Okay, we need to get up there. Oh, we got city utility workers. Dumpster down here. Yeah. I looted an abstract painting. And vending machines. Ooh, what's this? Max dog. Wow, you look cool. Do I know you? Well? Not really. Hey, Jackie! What's new with Senora Wells? Uh, you know, she's worried about me. <laughs> Whatever. Can't help herself, you know? Checking to see if I'm not rotting in some dumpster, like most of the Wells boys. It's really starting to wear on me. The more I tell her everything's okay, the more I feel like I'm straight up lying. But that's done after tomorrow. After life, here we come, baby. <laughs> yeah! Alright, no nothing had better happen to Jackie. I like Jackie way too much. Oh god, something's gonna happen to Jackie. They're setting us up for it now. We he, we got to know his girlfriend. He's talking about his mama. His mama's worried. All of his other brothers are dead. Oh, they're setting us up for something bad to happen to Jackie. <laughs> no, no. The afterlife. Known far and wide, that name. Oh, yeah? Some of the Nomad Clan's biggest jobs were scored right here. Don't surprise me. Ain't no better place than Night City to land a gig. Ready to get your cherry popped? Yeah, come on! Not big on berries, my friend. I'm not really a fruit guy. Wait, can berries be considered fruit? Place used to be a morgue. You believe that? Who would have thunk? I know, right? Way before our time, that. But proper burials were still a thing. The struggle of O'Neill Station. The European Space Agency, the ESA, started out with seemingly noble intentions. We'll open the door to the universe, the solar system, a home to all, and so on and so forth. It didn't take long for these catchphrases to reveal themselves for what they truly were, colonial ambitions wrapped up in lofty ideals. The ESA, or no, we, the builders and first inhabitants of O'Neill One, have witnessed this firsthand. The ESA sent us into space with promises of a new life and a better tomorrow. Instead, what lay in wait for us was a complete lack of freedom and a back-breaking work in extremely dangerous conditions. We would have pulled through. We would have toughed it out for the greater good <clears throat> if only they treated us as human beings, informed us of their decisions, listened to our concerns and requests. But the ESA ignored us. The consequences were inevitable in 2022. After completing construction of the station, our st situation was critical. Station management demanded 18 hours of work every day, seven days a week from everyone, regardless of age or health condition. Only 18? <laughs> that seems pretty generous for a, like a, a dystopian future. 18 hours a day? Eh, I've had worse. <laughs> <laughs> Our peaceful protest was met with a disproportionate use of force, which included stun guns. They thought it would break us, just like the countless protests they broke back on Earth. The thing is, out here it's not so easy to call for reinforcements. Workers outnumbered guards 40 to 1, and one stun gun charge held only 15 rounds. The ESA's management had effectively shot themselves in the foot. 
It was over before they could realize. Only seven hours passed before O'Neill 1 and O'Neill 2 declared independence and became the first nations established outside of Earth. Oh, that's awesome. I love all of this world-building political stuff going on in the background. There are nations outside of Earth now. That's great. Roger Rabbit with a tip. Thank you very much, Roger Rabbit. I'm really glad I upped those gamma settings, because that's dark enough right there. What? You gotta take a piss? Uh, maybe. I'm just reading lore, guy. Oh, come on. Oh. And who might you clown to be? Hold on one second. Afraid it's out of your league, friend. Yo, 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 my tumors, shroomers, and boomers, Mr. White here. Drop that little turkey kibble and rush to the nearest store for a taste of sweet, 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 clean speed. Because life is too short to be slow. Afraid it's out of your league. Friend. We're friends of Dexter Deshaun. He's expecting us. Yo, Dex. Got two live ones saying they're here to see you. Yeah? Alright then. Says he needs a second or two. Go get yourselves drinks or something. Way ahead of you, viejo. Felipe says, just flashing my golden derby. Can't stay. We'll be able to catch up in a month or so. Love you all. Thank you, Felipe. Love that golden derby. He says, oops, the derby doesn't show in the super chat. It looks good on you now, my friend. Enjoy the game. Went into town once. A little jittery. Oh, the night city. That's it right there. Beating. Hear it? Can you imagine? Susan Forrest, Boa Boa, maybe even Morgan Blackhand. Looks like we're up. Cool, the afterlife hey, bar. You see that old lady there? That's Rogue. Best fixer in all of Night City. Thought Dex was the best. <laughs> Rogue was lining up jobs when Dex was still shitting in diapers. <laughs> Place belongs to her. What can I get you? You order. Two tequila old fashions with a splash of cerveza and a chili garnish. Duo of Johnny Silverhands coming up. Right on, Chica. A Johnny Silverhand, huh? Somebody did their homework. Looks like the dog ate mine. Age old tradition. Drinks are named after our regulars. Say I wanted a drink named after me. What would I have to do? Snuff it. Mind-blowingly spectacular fashion. mid up would be best. Ah, what a beautiful tradition. Wait a minute, so does that mean Johnny Silverhand is dead? To being filthy rich. Filthy rich legends. Who else can I drink here? All on the menu. Except there's a spot missing. Morgan Blackhand, right? <laughs> it's true. Morgan's yet to make up his mind if he's dead or still kicking. <laughs> Nobody knows what happened to him. Think he's still alive? It's been years. Why not? Look at Rogue. Peaked from that era, a species unto themselves. Deep price to pay for a drink. Hey, everyone's gotta go sometime, right? Why not in style? Oh, and by the way, name's Jackie Wells. You wanna write down my recipe? <laughs> hmm, sure. Shot of vodka on the rocks, lime juice, ginger beer, oh, and most importantly, a splash of love. Ha <laughs> ha! I'll remember that. 
Ew. Heard you were Dex's latest finds. Just biz, no big deal. So wait a minute. Mr. Deshaun, see you now. Bad time to choke and shoot your bridges, Joel. Come on. Dex a regular. You come here a lot. A sort of long hiatus, matter of fact. Didn't show his face for nearly two years. The Tomcat's gotta walk his own path, right? Yeah, well, wherever he walked, he knocked a few pounds off. Guess they weren't delivering that pizza I mentioned before. How do you know? My job to know. Look around. How do you think mercs earn their reps? Through gossip rivaling that of schoolgirls, that's how. Break a leg. Thanks. Lady AHG says, Aloha. I'm thinking we're going to like this game. Mahalo. Aloha right back at you, lady. I'm thinking you're going to like the game, too. S Damn, says, Holmes. You're huge. Work out? Mm. Same here. No, in the ring. You do some kind of exotic shit? Huh? Kempo? Ninjutsu? Mm. Think ah. you could take me? Drop me? In here. Este pinche tipo. Jackie's trying to be all charismatic with the guy saying, oh man, you look great, you work out? <laughs> He's like, <"Ugh." laughs> uh, S says, hey Ox, just now starting this game, going Corpo the first playthrough, although you've done well with your Nomad so far. Cheers, thank you, S. I don't know, I kind of regret going Nomad because uh, I hear that the Corpo route has a lot of really interesting lore. But the lore that I've been getting from the Nomad route is still pretty fun, still pretty fun. In the shadows of mega buildings, one could say we're living in stable times. The fourth corporate war is ancient history. The unification war is over and done with, and Night City is a free city, a jewel embedded between two Californias. Living here, you might have the impression that everything is okay in the world, but look around. The world is not okay. Despite technological recession between 2020 and 2040, reduced global pollution levels, humanity is still facing monumental existential threats. Climate change has turned into climate disaster. Its effects are irreversible and dangerously unpredictable. Hurricanes, tornadoes, droughts, floods, natural catastrophes are growing in strength and frequency across the continent, leveling entire regions. Access to clean water is becoming increasingly more scarce, as well as fertile land. Hunger and starvation still reaps a bloody human harvest in Asia and Africa, where corporations had no interest in building vertical hydroponic farms. Meanwhile, advances in cyber modification have given rise to a new problem, cyberpsychosis. And though we've been aware of cyberpsychosis for over half a century, and know that incidents of cyberpsychosis are inextricably linked to a person's level of implantation, we still do not know why some are more prone to carrying out violent attacks than others. Let's not also forget the more serious issue of mass inequ uh, inequality, record high crime rates, including in places like Night City, and social unrest linked to immigration in almost every corner of the world. So I ask you again, look around. You see all of these problems in Night City already. Maybe you're standing in the shadow of a mega building and you think Night City is Night City. The rest of the world's problems don't affect me, right? Right? That's right, Excelsior. Cold hard eddies, as per usual. Gotta bounce. I'm sorry, were you waiting well, for me? Well, if it ain't Mr. V. Whole family in one place. Ha! Finally! First time in real space. And the flathead? Let's see this bad boy. Yeah, let me read your lore first. Del Delamain Transport Services. Delamain. Need to be on time for an important meeting? Don't want your valuable tech to fall into the wrong hands? Or maybe you just don't like crowds? With Delamain, you leave your problems at the door. 
Our corporate transport service has a fleet of over 20 armored cars, ready and waiting to bring you to your destination in comfort and security. We guarantee secure transport for individuals and packages in the Night City area, quality that goes hand in hand with speed, professional customer service, spef uh, specifications to suit even the most demanding clients, and discounts for loyal customers. They say that most accidents happen in the home. They're wrong. Did you know that over 82% of crimes and accidents happen on the streets? Thanks to Delamain, you'll never have to worry about statistics again. Our client's comfort and security is our number one priority. We hold all safety requirement certificates. We don't ask questions. There's no sound more beautiful than the symphony of hostile bullets bouncing off of our armored windows. Try the Excelsior package and enjoy our maximum security option. Safety is the one luxury you can afford. So what are you waiting for? Order a Delamain today. Delamain, leave your problems at the door. Stealth Drone Tech with a tip for the lore, he says, for the lore. All right, you want this thing um, now, Mr. fine. B? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. All right, then. Set your butts down comfy. Thanks for your help back at the scav haunt. A few reapers less in the city. Good thing. <laughs> city Hall should be fucking thanking us. Sweet booth. It soundproof? Jackie. Now, now. Mr. Wells is right. We're gonna be going over some sensitive material. But if it's all right with y'all, I'd like to start with a question for Mr. V. Evelyn Parker. How'd you fare? Um, hmm. Do we tell him? Do we tell him what Evelyn Hello? Parker says? See, this is the big thing. What if Evelyn Parker was testing our loyalty to Dexter? What if all of that was just a test? And she didn't really want, want to cut him loose. Do we mention it here? Uh, Mr. V? Let's not mention it. Well, as I could have, I guess. Walked around Compeki Plaza inside from that raw BD she scrolled. Mm-hmm. Bug already filled me in. So you know the target. Yorinobu Arisaka, the Emperor's son and heir apparent. Mm-hmm. Man with the millionaire name and no talent to back it up. Evelyn Parker's special friend? So she just want to see what's good, or was there something else? Hello? Parker chick? I don't know. Sent out mixed signals, so I got mixed feelings. One night, sipping champ paradise with the Orinobu. Next night, chatting it up with regulars at Lizzie's. Worlds don't match up. Struck me, too. You saying we putting two and two together and getting five? Some part of the equation's missing, then. Clearly. That's why y'all gotta fix her. Anyone try to fuck you? They first gotta fuck their way through Dex to Sean's 300-pound ass. <laughs> Anything Jeez. else? Okay. <laughs> I mean, this is the second opportunity they've given us to tell him that she tried to cut him out of the deal. Uh, Mr. V? I don't want anything bad to happen to her, but I also don't want him to feel like I'm keeping secrets from him. I mean, that was a really ballsy and kind of inappropriate move of her to try to cut him out. After all, he did set us up. Go on now, don't be shy. There was something else. Parker made me another offer. Another offer? Mm-hmm. Kind where we ditched the middleman and split the pot in even 50-50. What? <clears throat> ditch the middleman? <laughs> Shit, now that's rich. Ha 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 ha! Jackie. Clients never learn, do they? I do appreciate you sharing this info, though, Mr. V. You see, trust, 
is essential in any partnership that's to be long lasting and fruitful. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh. Uh, Mr. V? Thought you'd be pissed that you'd lose it. Lived in NC too long to blow my top every time some amateur thinks they can take me for a ride. Parker ain't the first and sure as hell won't be the last. Appreciation don't convert to Eddie's. And Evelyn offered us a bunch. He's telling it like it is, Dex. Y'all need not worry, truly. We'll come to that. How about we go over the plan? What you got for us, Dex? This. Oh! Well, here goes nothing. Me and Dex have already covered the fine deeds. Ops-wise, should be a stroll on the beach. Elaborate. I want to hear it. A Delamain will drop your asses at the front door of Kentucky Plaza. You'll stroll right in thanks to your false identities. Then, with Bug's help, you'll breach the hotel subnet. Mine and the Flathead's help. Last but not least, you slip into Yorinobu's penthouse and clep the relic. It goes without saying, we do this on the hush. Ideally, no bodies. Not a one. You'll have T-Bug on comms for the duration. Time for your burning questions. Oh, so I'm not gonna kill anyone. No guns. I'm not bad with no guns. <laughs> Stealth and me, we don't really mix. <laughs> oh, no. Go on now, don't be shy. Transports a Delamain. Primus Cab Company in all night city. Not a mall. The guys we just read about. Deshaun don't ever work with anyone but the best. I consider Delamain just that. Yeah, who needs creepy, nosy cab drivers when you've got a clean AI to get you from point A to B in style? And how he bags a permit to operate every year is still a mystery. If everything goes as planned, Delamain will drop you back here. If things get sticky, you head for the safe house. Which is? The no-tell motel. Quiet, no questions asked. Make our next move from there. But I'm flat certain that won't be necessary. Anything else? These new identities. Tell us more. What's our cover? Hello, Ramon Victorino. And you're Harry Conwell. Ramon? Yeah, okay. What do we say we're there for? Biz as usual. Corpo arms deal. In case anyone asks, you there for a bogus meeting with our Osaka's defense rep, Hajime Taki. Hajime Taki. Anything else? All right, I'm, gonna have to, I'm probably gonna have to remember that for a dialogue check. Hajime Taki. How do we get in the penthouse? Your Nobu's got barely any muscle. Hardest part will be penthouse security. If we want to disable, we'll need to neutralize Konpeki's dweller, elite runner monitoring the hotel subnet 24-7. Only catch is there's no way to get in the Dweller's Den from the outside. Now hold on. How you want us to get inside a room you can't get into? Trust me when I say whatever hits you think of, T-Bug solved it already. This is where the Flathead comes in. You'll have to get him in the ventilation shaft, guide him to the Dweller, and force the Dweller to... take a break. Flathead will stay there, jacked into the Dweller. But thanks to that, I'll be able to roll out your red carpet into the penthouse. Anything else? Weird Beard says check the bathrooms the next time uh, you get a chance. There's a uh, three Mr. seashells v? demolition man reference. I'll check it out. Okay, feel brought up to speed. Perfect. I got a question. When do we get to the real reason we're all here? Now's a good time as any. Fresh talent gets 30% always but I'm willing to make an exception in your case. I'm gonna cut you a nice juicy 40 as a bonus for your honesty fee. Thank you. Sounds about right. That's more like it, Dex. Ka-ching, baby. Last thing, Kempeki's got a strict no iron policy, security gates, the works. Oh. So you dogs will leave your lead spitters in the ride, take the flathead inside in its case. So I won't be able to shoot if you know I want suits, to. So you'll look the part too. Chido. Thanks, T. 
So, not to count chickens, but why don't we see our eddies? All depends how Miss Parker avails herself of her role, but a week, two tops is my guess. What do we do while waiting? Sit around, suck air? You sit tight, heads down, cause old Uncle Arasaka be watching. Now, as that old Greek dog says, life's a banquet, so don't go thirsty, but don't get drunk either. Your chariot awaits our tide. My cue to Delta Two. Got a prep to jack in. Be there when you come on comms. Any other issues, now's your chance. No name says Dexter sounds like he could sell you insurance. He, he does. Plan, what's your take? Enough, I hope, to put me in a luxury Cretan villa from which I'll never set foot in cyberspace again. Promise to send me a postcard? No offense, but I'm gonna burn any and all bridges. Need a clean break. Oh, that means she's gonna die. <laughs> I have a feeling like a lot of people are gonna die. He just told the bartender his... his death drink. Hello? Who does that? We walk into a bar, go to the bartender. By the way, if I die, here's the drink you can make to name after me. He talks about his mom. He's got this lovely girlfriend. No, Jackie, no. And now she is talking about how this is her last mission. The final one. We're going to get all the money and I'm going to retire to Crete. Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. You and Dex know each other a while. Um, why? Uh, you know, people say all kinds of things. Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Marcus Aurelius, I think. <laughs> You and Dex both philosophize in it. No wonder you get along. I'm good, no questions. Let's get to work. So you ready to get going or what? Something I gotta take care of first. Sin problemas, meet you by the Delamain. All right. Well, this is going to give me the opportunity to look around a little bit before we go into the heist. Don't forget to suit up. Oh, right. Oh, so that's what that slot is for. It's a uh, new special outfit. A typical, totally inconspicuous outfit for corporate agents. Totally inconspicuous. It even removes my helmet. What about you, buddy? Are you gonna wear your outfit, or is it just me? Am I the only espionage guy here? All right, I'm gonna try to find the bathrooms. You know, I hate to admit it, but I've I've never actually seen Judge Dredd. He went that way, let's go this way. Camo vest. Man, I'm getting armor and weapons like it's nothing. What is... Oh, these are all different meeting rooms. What have we here? Hey! Chemicals, the invisible killer. We've long known that the AVs crisscrossing our skies are busy dumping harmful substances in the air, such as aluminum, carbon dioxide, sulfur trioxide, and sulfuric acid. Studies have also revealed the presence of dead red blood cells and E. coli, as well as sodium chloride, table salt. Now, you don't need a degree in science to know the harm these substances can wreak on the body. We have found that sulfur compounds can lead to cancer, heart disease, and other illnesses arising from a weakened or even damaged immune system. They can also lead to spontaneous dental hydroplosion and acute meningitis. Exploding teeth? Is that what that means? Is that a terminal? Oh, we can't read the terminal. Dental hydroplosion. All 
Alright, that's it. What are you talking about, Squama? What do you mean he didn't work when he fucking worked his ass hard? Saw some old pictures of the water lepers? Damn petrochem logo everywhere. I take corpo gigs just like your old man did. What's the difference? The difference is that Boa Boa had balls. Enough to stand up to the corpse and call the shots on his own ops. He also knew the difference between cooperating and serving. No Name says, don't you tell me that I can't eat my sulfur cakes. That's right, don't listen to the man. It's all lies. New release, Brain Dances. What's up, BD Maniacs? Hungry for a new emo rush? Then check out the latest word from the freshest brain dances on the market. Foreign body. The body is everything. There is nothing else. It is you, but it is also just a tool for your mind. Uh, we actually already read this. Stay alert. Oh, this goes back to where we were. Seriously thought you'd dick over the fixer. That was your best idea for some quick scratch. Mm -hmm. Next day, I was a pariah. She cut me off completely. Nobody would take my calls. It was like I was dead. Good thing you only tested Regina. She's gentle. Any other fixer, you'd have had multiple fractures in both legs. Guess I made the right decision. Got some money. Whoa, are these robots or people? Oh, this is really cool. They're like swimming and dancing with um, gas masks on so they don't drown. Give us incomplete info again, the bitch. We know how they're geared out. Big fucking beans. We got no idea how many are holed up in that bunker. We'll be good. Sham is our lucky charm. Hey, Sham. Whoa, watch out. Might just answer you, we best focus on the gig. Now look, we send drones up first. Make sure we don't land in a pool of hot runny shit. Sweet, so lots of different crews meet here to go over their various gigs. Some in more privacy than others. Thankfully, it looks like ours was a pretty private meeting. It's all a shit storm anyway. No, I'm, I'm not. I want the ashtray. I want to talk to you. I want the ashtray. Is this the way out? No, here's the bathrooms. All right, let's see if I can find this reference you were talking about. What? What is that? It's like the second ball on the ground that I've not been able to um, to loot. Rogue told me you're the one to talk. To. Relax. Dealt with. Run, oh, is that it? Is that the reference? Of All of those broken arms in a yeah, bucket? Yeah. I'm sure it'll work out. I haven't seen Judge Dredd, so I'll take your word for it. Am I still bald? Did the patch fix it? Hey, it fixed it! Patch 1.4. Yay! I'm no longer bald when I look in the mirror. Let's see if we can scowl. That's a scowl right there. All right. Let's see the seashells that's topside. Oh, is it a seashells reference? Oh, so I'm looking for seashells, not arms in a bucket. Or are those the, the seashells? Maybe there's another bathroom. Let's see if there's another bathroom. I didn't see seashells. Oh. Looks like that's the only bathroom though. So I don't know. There's the bar. We came out that door. 
Can we go behind the counter? No. Can we talk to the bartender again? Mm, when I was leaving, this was a huge construction. Thanks, Claire. No problem. Just holler if you need anything. This is booming, I hope. Seeing it yourself? Can't complain. Folks always get thirsty, and we're here when they do. Asked him once why he did what he did. How's the afterlife? Working here, I mean. No real complaints. Fights are rare, and when they do happen, they're over quick. Killer clientele, am I right? Your words, not mine. Could definitely go for a drink. Tough day? Well, like any other. So, what'll it be? Sell our junk. 24 bucks. I picked up some new armor. Is it any good? No. So I'll sell that. I had to take that off. Oh, no, it's still on. What's this? Uh, 25.7. The camo vest. Mine's still better. 25.7. Oh. This t-shirt is better than my net running suit. And that's better than my pants. So let's take this off real quick. Yeah, it's better by three whole points. Well, almost three points. Oh, it's leopard print, really? And then what's this? A skirt. <laughs> 13.7 armor, classic and boring. Oh man, I'm rocking it in a kilt. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm wearing under my suit. Oh, look at that. He's ready to go. It's better. It's better. All right, so there's my disguise. I'm a corpo guy. And we can sell our old outfits. Could definitely go for a drink. Tough day? I don't like any other. We can sell the tactic cloth cargo pants and... The light elastomer net running suit. Okay. Oh, it looks like there's lore over here. What the hell? Looking for a career change? Join Netwatch. Tracking down netrunner renegades, combating demons, rebuilding the American net, these are just some of the daily tasks entrusted to the special agents at Netwatch. If you'd rather lose your eyes than your deck, if an encounter with Mephistopheles is just another walk in the park for you, then maybe it's time you joined our team. Here's what you can expect to contribute as a Netwatch agent. Patrolling all public access levels of the net, tracking and eradicating illegal netrunner activity, hunting down dangerous rogue AI, exploring and neutralizing threats in the oldest part of the deep net, prohibiting the movement of people and AI across the black wall, and assisting in the expansion of secure net space for public use. Agents, or I'm sorry, thanks to Netwatch, Thousands of people can freely use approved search engines and other net services without fear of falling victim to nefarious demon threats. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, we serve tirelessly to eliminate corrupted data fronts, safeguard our information, and arrest dangerous cyber criminals. Do you have what it takes? Apply today. Watch where you're going. Show a force. Not terribly subtle, people. Want to show everyone who's boss? Old man Arasaka might as well have walked into Meyer's office naked, waving his half shriveled dick around. Not gonna start a war with one stupid aircraft carrier, though. No. They want to remind Militech they've got a hundred more in Japan. 
Pacific ain't the level playing field it used to be. Buro Arasaka's not gonna pick another fight with Militech. How do you know? He tell you personally, hmm? So they're talking about uh, the aircraft carrier that rolled into the harbor that we just heard about on the news. And more lore. Who is Lizzy Wizzy pretending to be? We are who we pretend to be. I have pretended to be everything. That's why I have found the truth. Lizzy Wizzy is an artist par excellence. Her work includes award-winning albums and concert tours, film appearances, as well as, for lack of a better term, conceptual performance art. Her latest artistic obsession features the medium of brain dance. In recent interviews, Lizzie has mused about the boundary between our documentation of reality versus our active shaping of it. Could that mean Lizzie Wizzy plans to scroll her own brain dance? We can only dream. The chance to live just one day in, in her chrome skin, fans would go wild. Is Lizzie Wizzy the same person who was working at Lizzie's bar before she was killed? Or are we gonna meet this Lizzie Wizzy later? Right, that's the afterlife. Fully explored, friends. Let's move on. Right hook's fucking killer, but it's just too slow to reel it back into time. Almost fully explored. Pops jabs left and right, and if he throws in an uppercut and gets it to land, that's the bell right there. Oh, boy. Just not like it. Oh, you're gonna make this me mad. Right. Now fully Number. explored. I'm hella faster than that. I, I just had fresh kneecaps put in. Just, uh, I never got a chance to break them in. Do we take the elevator up? Yeah. Oh, that goes to the roof. Well, what will we find here? The junk. This is how I make my fortune. Picking up every scrap of junk. I just got a stapler. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at this. Palm trees growing on a roof. Man, this city is so cool. It's, it's fully realized, too. That's what I love about it. Like, there's no... At least, not that I can tell, there's nothing off in the distance that, that you can't access. Something that seems artificial about it, it feels real. All right, I think that's it for the roof. Of the afterlife. The force has ordered 20 of the Centaur units to be used for the medical patrols and MaxTac forces. A ceremonial signing of the partnership took place at City Hall. Police Commissioner Coleridge and Militech Government Relations Executive Anthony Gilchrist were in attendance. Officers in the NCPD put their lives on the line for us every day. They defend all night citizens against gang violence, nomad outlaws, and cyber psycho attacks. Thanks to Militech Centaur Class XO2. All right, Jackie, sorry I took so long. Let's go. So, you ready? No name says, but where is your multi-pass? It should say Corbin Dallas. Okay, so this is the what armored transport we read about. Service? With Delamain, you leave your problems at the door. Son of a bitch. Better fucking believe I will. I see no reason why you should be using expletives. <laughs> oh, yeah? 
What about that time I wanted to hire you for my cousin's bachelor party, huh? Unfortunately, we do not take on such contracts. Three months I'd been saving up scratch. Eh, water under the bridge. Hit it, Del. Before we begin our journey, I must verify the identities of all customers. Please proceed to connect your personal links. Those eyes in the rear view mirror, that is a nice but creepy touch. <laughs> Look at that. It's as if he's in the front seat, but he's not. Oh, that's Ain't creepy. going anywhere unless we do this, V. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Calm down. I'm a chatterbox. I like to talk. Thank you. Excelsior package activated. Excelsior? Oh, this just keeps getting better. Excelsior. Zane Slayer says, yay, I've only got about 20 minutes and will have to catch it the replay, but I love you guys. Best wishes and happy holidays to all of you. You too, my friend. Excelsior. The Excelsior is a package tailored to our premium clientele. Top quality don't come free, you know. Now watch. Delamain, initiate combat mode. My apologies, but you do not appear to be in any sort of imminent danger. Huh. Oh well. I'm sure Trust we'll me. see that mode You'll later. Hold down an army of Saka ninjas if it comes down to it. Excelsior, what else is included? Comprehensive health coverage, including the handling and disposal of a client's remains should death occur on board. Damn. Shit got dark pretty quick. Pavel says, did you know that you could hack vending machines for up to 500 bucks? I had no idea. I'll have to try that the next time I find one. Mr. Master Chief says time to earn some payday on a heist. That's right. This combat mode even legal? Of course it is. The Second Amendment says so. While on board, you are entirely within your rights to bear and use me. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, a talking gun. That's, oh, imagine picking up a pistol. Use me. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, but I thought America had fallen. I thought, um, like, uh, is there still a Second Amendment in this universe? Because I thought America as we know it ceased to be. Dex ain't skimping, is he? And thanks we to you, we're still getting a juicy 40%. You're welcome. Excelsior. This is how you want to cruise into the major leagues. That really your be all and end all? Huh? Dex managed to buy you off that cheap? With a suit? A limo? Don't know, Jack. Kinda feels like you're losing that steel grip of yours. Huh. Seems to me like it's you who's got some kind of problem. We're not on our way to some party, Jack. We're about to pull a major heist at Arasaka. For real, V? You see me as that shallow? Let me explain something to you, V. My whole life I've spent in this shit around us. And I ain't going back. Hey, how's things? Smooth as fucking sandpaper. We'll be, uh, pulling up to the hotel soon. Listen, set up a direct encrypted line to guide you through Compeki. V, ring Jackie now, see if we're in sync. Can't be too careful. And? Mm, got static. Say something, bug. The greatest crimes issue from a desire for excess and not from necessity. Marcus hey, Aurelius again? Aristotle. No, Aristotle. Guess okay. you read me then. Yeah, I read you. Not so much your Greek friend. Though it was kind of exciting. Could give it some thought. Try to understand. How about you, V? I want more Aristotle. Fuck off, both. Yeah. <laughs> okay, tech checks out, looks like. Será mejor que sí. Stay in touch. Thank you for choosing the Delamain service, and best of luck. I shall await here for your return. It's finally happening. Almost forgot, no iron, huh? No Name says a talking gun would be awesome. Just think every right, time you shoot it. Gary, let's go. It, it would say pew pew pew. That would be fun, I guess. 
Pew pew. Hold on. Let me grab the flathead. Ooh, look at this hotel. Gorgeous. Wow. Oh man, look at that skyline. Konpeki Plaza. My goodness. Well, Jackie, we're in the big time now. Let's do it. Her birthday. Never guess what I was driving today. We're out front, Bug. Member, reservations in your name, Ramon. You're there to meet Hajime Taki, military tech department rep. Papers are for the flathead. Don't Welcome worry. Got Plaza. this. Welcome to Kempeki Plaza. Please come through single file. You got it, home, uh, <clears throat> sir. <laughs> <clears throat> Hold on. Got something. Sir, care to explain why you're bringing a combat bot onto Kempeki Plaza premises? We're arms dealers. Excuse me? Ah, uh, you are here to see Taki-san, am I right? Please, accept my apologies for the confusion. <laughs> this should only take a moment, sir. Ooh. Go ahead. Thank you. Yokoso. Greetings and welcome to Kompeki Plaza. We'd like to check in. Of course. Just a moment, please. The name on the reservation is? Victorino. Double room, two adults, one night, correct? That's the one. Perfect. I'll go ahead and notify Takisan of the arrival. Shit, no good. Not part of the plan. Talk her up, V. Stall. That won't be necessary. We'll go freshen up first, notify him ourselves. But Takisan is expecting you, no? Senorita, do you know how long we've been traveling? 18 hours from New Barcelona. With the delay on Medici, cause some cyber cycle blew himself into bits inside the terminal. Oh, a nightmare. Of course, I understand. You'll be in the Lapis Lazuli suite on level 42. Oh, one more little formality. Please validate your SID chip. Hunter's all yours, Harry. Mr. Master Chief says, a talking gun, someone says. I smell some Judge Dredd here. Wish there was a gun you could say on Waiting ammo on type. You. Tell it to reload for you. Ma Ma uh, Michael says, hi Ox, about the 4K, you got two screens, I guess, but why is the main screen called one and two duplicate display and screen three separate? Because screen three is where I see my chat. It's a vertical screen over here where I see all of the chat. Screen one and two, one is my primary Waiting gaming display. Two is my cloned display to my capture card. Everything seems to be in order. We wish you a pleasant stay. Thank you. Better get going. Right. VB Pranks says, do you know an easy way to make money in Cyberpunk? I'm New broke. New Barcelona, really? It's called improvising. You should try it. I'm not, I'm not rich myself, but I, I am looting absolutely everything. What do you think, Harry? Hmm? Quaint, cozy. Not like the hotel we had in Zurich for that convention. Don't need that, Jack. Enough. How are what? You Hope I don't fall into the quite bomb. Seriously. I did not do so.
Sorry, got distracted. Should I turn these off? Probably shouldn't do that right now. We're supposed to be in We don't do reservations weekdays, so feel free to grab any available table. Or a couple of stools at the bar if you prefer. Could bring Misty here one day when we uh, close this deal. Wouldn't hurt to take a peek inside. Shit. Looks like some fucking traveling salesman with this case. Going upstairs. All right, so that bought me some time to look around a bit. He's going upstairs. Check out the hotel bar, option. Yeah. Embargo. How does the fucking concern me? The garage I mentioned. They have 20 late model Daikani. 10 containers of armor piercing ammunition. And a full ton of anti No, 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 you listen. I can let the cute thing slide, but not Nairobi. Farida, I didn't have anything to do with them. You did. You're turning the city into a goddamn neurovirus test tube. That's hurting my investments. That's such a cool feature. Automatically translating something into my character's spoken language. And when I say heads are gonna roll, I don't mean it as a fucking turn of phrase. Had enough, guy? Don't you think? Making the other customers uncomfortable. Good, because this affects them too. It'll slap everyone in the face. What's going to slap everyone? You want to know what a bearer of bad news looks like? What's 400 yards long, weighs 100,000 tons, and is nuclear powered? An aircraft the answer is docked in the bay. Hanako Arasaka decided, <laughs> decided to take a little vacation. Big deal. Don't know how big just yet. And by the time we do, it'll it'll be too late. Screw this. I'm gonna get some sleep. A quality meme says that was Hideo Kojima. Really? Oh my god, you're right. Hey. Did you bring a pitch for me? Oh, okay, so in this universe, he creates brain dances instead of games. Evening. Evening. What can I get you, kiddo? You always this forward? Suckled it out of my ma's very breast. 50% protein, the other half, pure, high-octane chew too. Uh, what? She had wind and dust in her hair, so to speak. Belonged to the Alcaldos before the bombs began falling. Her final words, wherever you go, whatever you do, be yourself, David. And so I ended up here, still no one but myself. Cool story, Chum. Too bad it's made up. Everyone's making something up, just like you, kiddo. Uh... Can I get you something? At the least. Water? Let's see what you got. Of course. He's got candles. Oh, wait, no, this is the junk I just sold. All right, so he's got a variety of beverages and no chems. A Bosch, a Manet, two Basquiat miniatures, nothing but classics. All sucked out into the empty void of space through a hole in the station's body. Bloody hell! What'll become of the gallery? Oh, but it was all planned. The focus of the whole opening. Really? Oh, wait, wait. Allow me to venture a guess. A new Abramovsky? Mm-hmm. Untitled number three. It's a reckoning with... Oh, I can't remember. God, I think. Sounds ambitious. How much did it cost? The gratitude of an artist of his stature. Sending is art more. out into space. That's artistic. The fall of Etimanaki. Etiman, so I think the point of uh, the optional part of the quest to explore the bar was to overhear that conversation about the aircraft carrier in the harbor, foreshadowing for things to come. Also to see Hideo Kojima. Uh, the fall of Etimanaki. Uh, Etima, 
manuscript found behind the Totentans. All ye mighty, look and despair, for here lived the city, in the far-off land of Shinir, where once was clay tamed and wrought, to build a temple among the narrow streets, where the howl of crazed prophets rose, from their skiff, and the shadow of the ziggurat fell across the sands. Look and despair, for here rose the tower, strong as a tongue glazed in spit, held fast on the scaffolding of throats, on the vocal cords up, which were pulled buckets of mortar, prayer, prayers fragments of code, late cuneiform on tablets, plated with copper and crusted with tin. Look and remember, for here she fell, and her name was Babel, O Babel of dreams, lest we be scattered over the face of the earth. Ask the archaeologists beyond the Totentans. How she crumbled to dust, the soft down of dialect, how the desert tore her, how the sands of time ground her, until the word was ground fine and scattered among us. Look and beware in the final hours of night, for the sun shall rise over the ruins and shall and dawn shall once again melt from the rubble, the memory of the city, its original source. I think this is the second reference to the biblical Tower of Babel that we've found in this universe. Douglas Delegard says, hey, Oxhorn and all in chat, at work on my dinner break. All right, my friend. Thank you for joining me, despite your obligations. Everyone who's anyone in Night City will be there. On my yacht. Even your ex confirmed. She's going to be there. Anna? Why is she in Night City? She's promoting her new movie. Already raked two billion at the box office, apparently. You know, I suggested that to her. Gave her the idea, the whole spherical ziggurat thing. All the more reason you should come then, as a co-initiator of her rise, her success. Just leave your iron at home. <laughs> Fuck you. Mr. Master Chief says, I think you're gonna make lots of lore story here. I encounter so much diary on my gameplay. Yeah, I think so as well. I'm gonna read as many of them as I can. A no private jet from that Seattle. I'll catch them all. Chic. Very. And appreciated even more. It must have cost a pretty any. You are worth the price. How do you feel? Marvelous. Did... Did you put something in my drink? You're welcome. So that's why I feel so... All right, back to Jackie. So, um... Take the elevator to the 42nd floor. I'd like to try something different today. And T-Bug is just watching what I'm doing. This interface is all over the place. It's hard to find a spot for my uh, my camera frame. I'll be there in a minute, Jackie. Let's uh, take a look at the... What? I was talking to Hideo Kojima, man. Stay there. Well, all right. I can explore later. Let's go with the plan. We don't want to look um, suspicious, do we? Ты же помнишь, как мы тестировали эту технику на наших. Про заражение под Новоиркутском они врали. Про аварию на Баконинской 3 врали. Они всегда врут. То есть он тоже? Охренеть. Он так натурально смеялся. Here we are. We're in our room. Pretty snazzy. Too bad we ain't staying the night. Nice choice, Buck. Didn't pick it for snazz. Offers quickest access to the dweller and servers. Si, si, me acuerdo. Now you fire up the flathead and find the shaft entrance. Sounds simple enough. Simplicity is sometimes toughest to master. Aurelius? Aristotle? Who's it this time? Yours truly. That one's mine. Where's the shaft? Boot up your scanner. Look around. All right, I gotta find the scanner. Um. Flathead prep to go? Almost there, Carnal. 
Kanpeki Plaza. Luxury, beauty, discretion. What holds more power than a place? An idea. Kanpeki Plaza is more than a hotel. It is a space in which reality is curated to even the most refined tastes and sensibilities. At Kanpeki Plaza, you'll find 420 exclusive apartments, 20 conference rooms, 14 fully equipped pools, and the finest bars, restaurants, and that which cannot be measured by numbers alone, luxury, beauty, and discretion. Our world-class customer care will fulfill even the deepest needs and desires of our guests, turning your stay in Konpeki Plaza into an unforgettable experience. When it comes to the comfort of our clients, there is no such thing as impossible. Discover new dimensions of comfort. Enjoy the best Night City has to offer. Right, while he does that, we look around. We gotta find the entry point. And any loot while we're here. All right, that's it. Still nothing. Come on, can't be that hard. Television. A. Got a winner. Shaft. Group. Good. Jackie, how's the flathead looking? All set. Systems are operational. Chuck. Mierda. Little gonk stock. Just gonna stand there and look at it? Gonna have to switch to manual control. V, take the control shard from Jackie. Gonna link your Kiroshis to surveillance so you can guide the bot. Okay, so the bot got stuck. Now because the, uh, the button to skip dialogue is C, and the button to crouch is also C, when I crouched down to look in that hole, I accidentally skipped a bit of dialogue when I stood back up. All right, let's guide it manually. Why me? Why do I gotta slot it in? Unlike someone, I haven't run on my tab with Vic. Got last gen firmware, no flow. Just do it, bro. There ain't got all day. Surveillance cover the whole hotel. Mm-hmm. Even the bedrooms in the suites. Guests don't care? You'd be surprised what people are willing to give up to feel secure. Lucky for us, you're a Nobu is an exception. Penthouse is dark, no hotel security. Here. Here goes. Patching you through to in-cam view. Might get a little disoriented, but don't freak. Okay, got a clear view. You can't just go locking people out of their homes. Get them to the next vent. Places of work. Arasaka will cover the cost of any and all penalties assessed. This isn't about the money. It's election season. How do you think this will make me look? People start saying I've lost control of Watson. District I'm from. A week. That's all we can promise you. We will oh, that's cool. And that is all I can promise you. Okay, in. flathead's in. Patching you into next cam now. What makes you think it was for you? He addressed it to the kind housekeeper to find uh, him. A bug? No got a hit. Said, Sorry what now? Housekeeping. There was in my blood way. everywhere. We've got a distractor. But at least he uh, left it. Let's see what's on the subject. Am I the only one that just right, gets puke and used condoms? Where's the damn justice in it? Terrarium's got a control panel. Somehow I doubt it. Think he's single? Who? You know. Terrarium's got a temp and air quality controller. Has that naughty Cream, yeah. Guy? Sick the flathead on it. You mean you're a noble Arasaka? Men like him are always single. Might wear expensive suits, but he's a biker at heart, always itching for a ride. <laughs> I'd give him a ride and wipe him out. Honey, stick to wiping that glass, huh? You're leaving streaks everywhere. 
proven its vital role so. in reconstruction of America. Uh, cat. After the break, something's up with the tank. Hey, there we bug, go. it worked. <laughs> Ain't seen nothing yet. You got any idea how much those things cost? Keep moving. No time for backpatting. That is so cool. That was great. Ooh, what's this now? A maintenance shaft of some sort? Well, there it is. Okay. Dwellers just beyond the door. Flathead can jimmy the lock. Looks like he's having trouble. Shit. Gotta be another way. Let me think. Got another cam other side of the door, but it's disabled. Want me to enable? Yeah. Look around for a CCTV port. Computer, CCTV port. All right. Okay, he's at it. Now toggle over to the other cam. Dwellers inside. Just as planned. Still weird, the hotel's only got one runner. Decent dwellers as good as a dozen rank and file. Flathead ought to be able to neutralize him. Good thinking. Let me graft a demonoid onto your link. And you know you gotta jack the Flathead directly into his chair, right? Make it sound like I'm new at this. Okay, sent. He's all yours. You'll have to get the Flathead in there first, though. Oh, jeez. Okay, I gotta get him in here first. Shaft may link both rooms, looks like. Let's figure it out. Now toggle over to the other cam. Might have found our way in. Send the flathead over there, then toggle over to the second cam. Just these two? Flathead into the chair, V. Jack in. Oh, creepy as hell. <laughs> it's right out oh, of aliens. Got him. Love those demons. Flathead stays, right? To keep an eye on the dweller, yeah. Punching into Kompeki's main net. You go ahead and log out. That was great. Así es como se hace. How are you feeling? Fine. A little dizzy, that's all. Bug, how are you doing on time? You there, Bug? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. So, listen, ice is thicker than I thought. Piercing, it'll take a couple hours. Couple hours? Can't do it any faster. Want my brain to burst into flames? Just sit down and enjoy your snazzy sweet. Thanks. I will. V, uh, you take it easy, okay? Rest up a bit. Okay, yeah, let's rest up a bit and uh, examine this tank. Sprinkler on. What does that do? Oh, it turns on water in the terrarium. Oh, that's cool. Wow, they uh, they let us interact with everything. Can we take a look at the, uh, yeah. Let's turn on the radio. Oh, that's right, I disabled music. Uh, CD Projekt Red uh, came onto Twitter saying that there may be other songs that would give me a, a copyright strike on YouTube that they um, 
didn't filter out. Even though I have the turn off copyrighted music setting enabled in my game, there are some that aren't captured by that setting. So they recommended turning all music off. So I turned it all way, way down. So no more uh, yes, no song, I guess. Sorry about that. <laughs> we can look in the mirror again. Mr. Master Chief says, imagine if that guy wakes up and sees that robot on his face. He's going to be like, gah, a spider, get it off, gah. Yeah, I'd freak out, I'd freak out as well. All right, I think that might be it for the room. Ooh, no, we got lore here. Tamed Dragon, a biography of Yoronoba Arasaka. In many ways, the story of Yoronobu Arasaka resembles an ancient parable. The younger son of one of the modern world's most powerful CEOs renounces his heritage, uh, forfeits his birthright, and instead chooses a rough-and-tumble life on the streets of Tokyo, only to later scamper back home to the warm, sheltered bosom of his family with his tail tucked. At least, that's the story most have pieced together from official sources. But why did Yoronobu uh, betray his father in the first place? Why did he return? For several years, I dug deeper, followed leads, reached out to his former friends and acquaintances. Slowly, I began to unearth answers to some of the public's most burning questions. Yoronobu was born in Tokyo in the early 21st century, the first child to Sub, uh, Saburo Arasaka's third wife, Michiko. By all accounts, he seemed a happy child that grew to become a pleasant young man. That is, until his graduation from the University of Tokyo at the age of 21. Following the ceremony, the Arasaka family threw a party in his honor. At some point in the evening, Saburo invited his son to his study for a private conversation. What transpired there is wholly unknown. But after corroborating varied accounts, it is clear that Yorinobu must have slipped out from the party and the estate only a few hours later. Gone. A whisper in the night. Over the next few years, Yoronobu was occasionally spotted in the company of a nomad group known as Kotesu no Ryu, or Ryu, the Steel Dragons. As part of this youthful rebellion, he purposefully involved himself in altercations with Arasaka agents and promoted anti-corporate slogans. After his family eventually confirmed Yorinobu's involvement, Saburo renounced his son and Kai, Sarubo's eldest son, swore to exact revenge on his younger brother. Ironically, it was later at Kai's funeral that Yorinobu at last reconciled with his father. Stubbornly proud to a fault, many were surprised by the Arasoka Patriarch's conciliatory approach, probably because he lost his older son, what, uh, what caused Saburo to change his mind. What role might have Yorinobu's sister, Hanako, played in their peaceable reunion? That much yet remains to be discovered. What do you think? Why'd he give it all up? Hmm? Who gave what up? Yorinobu Arasaka. The good life, I mean. Old news, I know. Just got to thinking's all. It's like, think. You got everything, right? Eddie's education. Your pops can snap his fingers and turn half the fucking planet into a nuclear wasteland. But instead, you're like, nah, fuck it. And what do you go do? Start a fucking gang. <laughs> Steel dragons or some shit. You go from your fam, chip some real skin, and play gang leader for a few years. For what? Maybe he just wanted out of the system. So then why'd he come back? Tough to ditch the system when the system's your own family. Black sheep, still a sheep, huh? One way to put it. Crawl back on all fours, tail between his legs. Fucking cheap-ass rebel. <laughs> Fucking tourist. Tourist or not, he just walked into the lobby. And we are back in biz. Penthouse security is neutralized. Perfecto. Let's start the show. Hey, Buck. Where, uh... Were you on comms that whole time? Three and a half hours. Uh... 
about that stick up the ass? Mean the one up mine? <laughs> yeah, slip of the tongue, you know? I know. Now's your chance to make up to me. <laughs> Silence. You, uh, wanna hear a joke? Now? Seriously? Always. Okay. So why'd the rocker boy's output kick him out of the apartment? Because he wasn't chipping in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Not bad being heir to the Arasaka Empire. Sure is shit better than being a son of Raul Wells. Guys! Focus. The safe. And make it quick. Why? What's the rush? Sig on your Nobu's gone dark. What is he, a fucking sorcerer? Some kind of dead zone's my guess. Have him back in a sec. And you do your damn job. There, under the floor. Look around for a switch. Oop, lore first. Oh, come on. Let me let me get let me get the lore. Here we are. The renewal could be back any second. Bingo! Got something ejected. Come here, V. The relic! Why all the fuss? For years, experts in the field of cybernetics, neurology, and psychology have been desperately trying to merge human consciousness with silicon. Until now, their efforts have been unsuccessful, though scientists have managed to create artificial intelligences that can compare or indeed surpass human intellect copying the human eye has remained beyond our capabilities. Attempts to do so have merely resulted in sophisticated chatbots, digital beings capable of mimicking human speech and mannerisms, but devoid of self-awareness. Today, experts from Arasoka announced a breakthrough. Their newest project, dubbed The Relic, allows human minds to be copied onto shards no larger than a cred ship. Is this what we're looting? The Relic? What's more, the shard can be slotted into one's neural port, allowing its user to hear and see digitized personality constructs. Sadly, I haven't been able to personally examine the specifications of this remarkable piece of technology. Access to the relic is heavily restricted by Arasaka, and only a small select group of testers are allowed to participate in the program. Unsurprisingly, these testers are among the wealthiest and most influential people in the world. Precisely the kinds of people Arasaka would like to have in its pockets. For the ordinary consumers reading this, don't expect the relic to hit mass market anytime so uh, soon. What now? Jack in your personal and make us rich. On it. Your turn, Bug. Give me two. Ooh, something bad's gonna happen. I hope nothing bad. Ah! Bug. Uh, don't know who, but staff's a buzz. All 200 on their feet can't keep still. Can't say I like this. <sighs> How much longer, T? 80%? Shit, you're a Nobu's penthouse bound. Fuck him! Open the safe! Almost got it. Done. Cream. Grab it! Let me look to this, huh? Relic intact? Bioshard integrity, 100%. I'm guessing that's a yes. Good, let's go. Oh, we're gonna have him come through the door right now. Fuck, too late. Your Nobu's about to walk in. Find cover. Where? That pillar, try that. Are you fucking kidding? No, inside it, now. We're in. Which don't solve our problem, T. I fucking know our problem's still there. Let me think for a sec, okay? Is that? I thought Adam Smasher. Bodyguard. Wars. 
Night City legend. Bleak motherfucking one too. What's the play? We wait. Are they here yet? They approach from the landing pad. Fuck are they talking about? Buck, who we got incoming? Nuh-uh. No fucking way. This isn't happening. What? Saburo Arasaka. Oh, no. The Emperor. Yet another ass-licking legend. Shush. Doubt this could be soundproof. Shoot. Ha 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 ha! The father! Oh fuck! As if to be. Arasaka-sama, still body check is not complete. I am the son. Let us get the things that we have stolen. I will do it. Go ahead. Looks like he's still a black sheep of the family. DRX Panda says, don't forget the gun beside the bed. そもそも俺のことを気にしたことなんかないだろう。あんたの問題点はそこだ。世界は自分中心に回ってると思ってる。傲慢だよ。よりのぶ。どうしてここへ。じきじきに俺に屈辱を合わせ。立場を思い知ら
竹村お前の仕事は何だ何の話です単純な質問だ答えろ荒坂家の課長を守ることです今後はもっとしっかり責任を果たすよう望んでいるぞお許しください荒坂様決して失望はさせませんデヴィリッシュジャッジ・ファッジ says、アークス、don't forget to grab the iconic pistol on the nightstand if you haven't already. I forgot earlier. Thank you so much for reminding me. I will try to get it before we get out of here. Oh, God. What the fuck just happened in there? You're an Obu. Just offed Suburo. Murder! What? His own fucking pops. Know what this means? Security's gonna swarm the place any second. Oh, my God, we're so fucked. V, it's time for thinking. Time for getting the fuck out. Let's go. Where is your Nobu? I don't. I don't know. I've lost cam links. Whole building's being put on lockdown. Okay, got something. Window, now. Window. Releasing the lock. Should see a ladder. Ladder. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, 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 not now. I've been made! Fuck! Just lost T! Fuck! Fucking made you leaks. Happy now, Jackie? Damn, Pensado. Old man Arasaka CV still be. Hey, come on! Come on! I know he can't hear me. Why am I shouting? Come on, Jackie! Got two guards. Watch it. Don't turn around. Back off. Okay. Yeah, thanks. What now? Joyride in the AV. Well, forget trying to pilot this thing. Don't know what I was expecting. Unauthorized access attempt detected. Remain where you are. Security personnel will arrive shortly. Chingada madre! Gotta get out of here now. Nope, that's not gonna work. I got a, I got a gun. How do I get that though? Chrome Night Love. Chrome Man's mask glinted in the. Oh, it's it's a it's a romance part. Okay, hold on. Um, Chrome Man's mask glinted in the light of the setting sun like a beacon in the dark of this rotten city. Lucille's heartbeat began to quicken. Her legs trembled beneath her. Hot blood pumped through her veins in a way she didn't know it could. He looked at her, his strong masculine figure towering above the bloodied corporate corpse, which just a moment ago had violently tried to defile Lucille's virtue. What's the matter with me? Her mind raced. Why him? Why me? Hundreds of questions burned inside her head, but when she finally parted her lips to speak, only one question emerged. Who are you, really? Crow Man looked Lucille, or took Lucille into his cold metal hands. She flinched at the touch. You know I can't tell you that. They'll find you. They'll rip my secret out, out of you any way they can, and then they'll kill you. I, I don't care about any of that. I love you. I love you. She couldn't feel his face, his real one, concealed under all of that veil of chrome, but she could have sworn she could hear a note of emotion in his deep voice. You love a dream. You don't know who hides under the mask. 
I don't care what you look like. What if I am disfigured? I can afford an operation. <laughs> and what if I am an android? It doesn't matter. And if, then suddenly, in one swift motion, Crowman removed the mask to reveal the face of Domita de la Vale. If I am a woman, Lucy <laughs> Lucille stood there dumbstruck. A tempest of emotion swirled in a frenzy throughout her being. But in another moment, the storm calmed and she smiled warmly, taking her savior's face into her hands. The proverbial clouds of her tumultuous mind began to part. Lucille was beginning to see clearly at last. How many times does a woman need to say she loves you? Lucille smirked and whispered softly, before you believe her. Plot twist! <laughs> oh, God. Why can't I get that case? Gotta get the pack of cigarettes. They're a little late. Just hope they didn't see us. Well, I got a unique katana in there, but I couldn't get the briefcase. Plug it in. Carajo. Plug it in. We read about it. We know what it does. Parker. Plug it in. Call her. And tell her we fried the case? Just do it. V? Kabeki's all over the feeds. What the fuck's going on there? Got a problem. Cryo case is damaged. Biochip's integrity at... Jackie? 86%. 86% and drop it. Shit. Okay, listen to me. There's only one thing you can do. Plug it in. One of you's gotta slot the relic into your neural port. That doesn't sound safe. The longer you wait, the greater the risk we'll lose it. Well, someone's gotta do it. I'll do it, Jackie. No, it's gonna erase your consciousness, Jackie. Don't do it. No, think of your mama. Don't do it. In the nombre del Padre, el Hijo, y del Espíritu Santo. Amen. Jackie, you okay? No, no. I guess. Don't feel any different. Once you're back, we'll take out the relic and run a full brain scan and sweep. But you two need to get the fuck out of there first. We're working on it. Oh, God. Okay. Dell, we'll be there in a couple. Be ready. Got it? Certainly, Mr. Wells. Better be fucking certain. We gotta somehow reach the lobby. Only chance to hit the garage. And we best be quick. <sighs> oh, what I see. Great. Now let's get out of here. Lore! 
In the Shade of an Apple Tree by Virginia Granchester. My first memory isn't an image or a sound, but a smell. The smell of rotting apples, intense and dizzyingly sweet. I must have been around four. We were spending the summer at my grandparents' house. They had a small orchard with this old, huge apple tree by the fence. That year it grew so many apples that nobody even bothered to pick them. We just watched them fall to the ground where they lay rotting. It's hard to imagine now a world where things used to grow out of the ground without our help, without bioengineering, where an apple was something normal, a fruit whose shape and taste every child knew by instinct, where a normal person like my granddad could have more than, his need, than he needed. Sometimes I think back to that orchard and that sweet, drowsy smell, but at all I taste is bitterness. <laughs> Attention. Code Red has been initiated throughout Kitchen Plaza. Please remain in your room and follow all instructions by staff. I ain't got time for your lip. In the lobby now. I'm gonna sweep the building. All floors. I was trying to crouch down, but I skipped dialogue. Jackie. So wait till get, they get closer. Attention! Code Red has been initiated. Located in the dweller in a combat pod. Flat in your rooms. Drones have encountered hazards on the penthouse level and opened death. fire. Your Nobu Arasaka has been evacuated from the premises. I repeat, your Nobu Arasaka has been evacuated. Doesn't sound good. What do we have here? The catch! Careful. Security likely to be swarming outside. Got it. Sorry, one second. I got a text I need to respond to. Yokai Japanese demons of yesterday and today. They make their homes on mountaintops, in rivers and oceans, on city streets, and on every mega building floor with a number four in it, even in your washing machine and info visor. Some appear in concrete places, while others simply haunt a specific location. They're there when you hear a strange noise in the middle of the desert. They're there when you feel like someone's watching you, although there's not a soul in sight. They're there when you glimpse something out of the corner of your eye, something nobody else seems to notice, but you were just at the Ripper Docks for your checkup. The yokai first appear in Japanese literature in the year 797. These mysterious beings, though closely linked to the invisible realm of the dead, have been alive in the Japanese consciousness from the very birth of animism. It's not that the Japanese believe in the yokai, they simply know the yokai exist. In addition to phantoms, ogres, and other mysterious phenomena, the yokai also include a group of shape-shifting demons called obake, or bakemono. 
The bakemono are said to sometimes take the form of a faceless person, a one-eyed scarecrow, or an animal. It's said that when a cat reaches a certain age, it becomes a bakeno. These yokai are able to walk on their two hind legs, speak and dance, assume human form, or even devour their owners and take their place. The, ba the bakeno sometimes visit people in their sleep or even wake the dead. All they have to do is hop over a corpse to bring it suddenly back to life. However, the demons are capable of much, much more. One should exercise extreme caution around a double-tailed cat. This is a nekomato, a yokai with shamanistic or necromantic capabilities. Able to place curses on people and control the dead. In its human form, a nekamato resembles an old woman, often one addicted to some substance or other, and with an eerie, disturbing air about her. However, let me assure American readers of this book, today, the most likely place you'll find a bakaneko is in the form of lucky maneki neko figurines. Ah, after all, real cats are an even rarer sight these days than the average yokai. Attention! Code Red has been initiated throughout Kenpeki Plaza. Please remain in your rooms and follow all instructions given by staff. This way! Did you check the Zen rooms? Yes. All clear. Nothing strange out of the ordinary? Well, the doors to the terrace are damaged. Then take another look. Careful now. Let's get him, Mano. Dang it! Wasn't it time? He what? has no right to leave. I'm on fire. Well, the camera got me. What? Um, Well, doggone it, I tried to stealth, but you know me. Right in the head. Cover me, B! We gotta plow through them! 
instructions given by staff. I had to stop for a cigar. Douglas Delgard says, time for me to get back to work. Hugs to all and be safe. Thank you, Douglas. Have a good one. Water, chrome, and blood, the fourth corporate war. It is truly remarkable that the large-scale bloodshed of the fourth corporate war began first as a simple rivalry between two ocean exploration corporations, Sino and OTEC. Both companies vied for the controlling stake of the failing IHA corporation. OTEC commissioned Militech to secure its business interests and perform certain special operations. Sino, in turn, signed a corporation agreement with the Arasaka Corporation with a similar aim, when circumstances at last called for both colossal and prideful security corporations to clash in open combat, the fourth war had officially begun. Yet, as is usually the case with corporate conflicts, the onset proved subtle. Arasaka disabled a Militech transport. Militech allegedly eliminates a high-ranking official of an Arasaka client. Both sides engage in frequent sabotage and data theft operations. Netrunners from both sides infiltrate data forts to sow confusion, gather intel, and cause chaos in the stock markets. Though none would have thought it possible in those early months, the Arasaka Militech conflict today jeopardizes the stability of the world economy, making a threat, the threat of complete economic collapse, all too real. For this reason, Netwatch introduced a communications embargo on both corporations. This did little to so, uh, slow the conflict's p uh, pace, however, while Sino and Otec had unilaterally reached a settlement and reached an understanding through peace talks tension between Arasaka and Militech continued to rise. This separation from the ocean disputes from the ocean dispute marks the beginning of the Fourth War's second phase, the so-called Shadow War. Military clashes between Militech and Arasaka were notoriously bloody, brutal, and without mercy. They war waged their most damaging campaigns on the net. Arasaka and Militech netrunners launched attacks with the help of viruses that were often highly experimental. What's more, they created lethal ice measures and AI-like programs that could lurk in dark corners of the net for long periods to make strikes at the most opportune times. By the second half of 2022, Arasaka and Militech entered the final phases, or the final phase of the conflict, where both sides used every resource and strategy at their disposal. The hot war had begun. Around this time, the net that the world had known for years ceased to exist, and mercenaries hired by both corporations were slaughtered in open warfare fought with the cutting-edge weapons technology. Then, in the war's most shocking and iconic turning point, the coup de grace came when an unknown group of mercenaries detonated a nuclear device at Arasaka's Night City headquarters. Shortly after the blast bowing under increased pressure from the Japanese government, Arasaka laid down its arms and withdrew from many of its strategic positions, but most notably in Night City. Victory belonged to Militech, but it came at a heavy cost. Come out with your hands in the air! He attacked me! You fucking gun! Bueno, qué chingados estás esperando? Shoot!
given by staff. Fire! Fire! Los hijos de la chingada también están aquí! What? Oh. Ah, all cleaned up. Okay. California After Dusk, The Life of Richard Knight. Thank you, OBRAD, for the tip. Richard Knight was a pessimist. Even in the late 80s, when the economy seemed headed for endless growth and the nuclear uh, threat for the ash heap of history, Knight saw the United States as hurtling towards collapse. Richard Knight was an optimist. He deeply believed the world could be changed for the better and that he was the one to do it. Richard Knight was a realist. Aware he could change the face of the world all at once, he decided to start small, for him at least, by constructing the ideal city. His utopian metropolis was to be called Coronado City. It would stand as a metaphorical city on a hill, a shining, a shining example to the rest of the world. Richard Knight was doomed to fail, not because his vision was inherently impossible to realize, but because many important, powerful people wished to make it so. Richard Knight was murdered. The city whose foundations he laid was finished after his death, but his utopian dream soon became a dystopian nightmare. Even the original name was lost. In honor of the city's tragically deceased founder, Coronado City was rechristened Night City. Ironically, the name fits. If anything, the city is a cat. Sleepy during the day, it comes frantically alive at night, and it loves to toy with its prey. Jeff says, hey, Ox, have some nearly worthless pesos. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll take them. V, they can spot you. Arasaka and ornithology, three Japanese words to know. As conversations over factionalism within Arasaka heat up, many industry insiders wonder about the company's future, tra uh, future trajectory. If you struggle to understand the complicated inner machinations of the world's largest arms manufacturer, look no further than the obscure science of ornithology. Yes, that's right. The study of birds can help, at least in a sense. There are three Japanese words every corporate player ought to be familiar with. Kiji. Hato and Taka. Kiji, green pheasant. This bird has, <coughs> pardon me, this bird has long held cultural and symbolic significance in Japan. One can admire the world's last living specimens at Hanako Arasaka's private preserve on the island of Shikoku. But the word Kiji also bears meaning among the factional identities within Arasaka. This group, with Hanako at its center, consists primarily of conservative technocrats who wish to follow the course set by Saburo Arasaka himself. In his daughter, Hanako, they see a guiding force to maintain the old order and stability within the corporation. Hato, dove. The symbolism of the dove is recognized far and wide. The symbol also aptly captures the character of the much, uh, of the, uh, much smaller faction within the company led by Mikito Arasaka daughter of the late Kai and niece to Hanako. This liberal wing of the corporation has unified those who seek deeper reforms. Although they currently hold little influence, they enjoy growing support popularly among some politicians and media personalities. Taka, Hawk. As symbolic as the dub is, so too is the Hawk. This faction, headed by Yorinobu Arasaka, often prefers to take the most direct and uncompromising solutions. Both stubborn and temperamental, he resembles Saburo, which has given him wide support among the more militant-minded As uh, Asaka Corp elite. 
However, his more pro-Western inclinations and ideas that are innovative as they are controversial have weakened his support from the board's loyal traditionalists. You can learn more about Arasaka family genealogy from the eight-book series Two Centuries in the Clover's Shadow, available in stores soon. Watch out! The mark! Some fucking psychopath threw himself at me! He's coming for me! Enemy come! Some fucking psychopath threw himself at me. Shoot! Someone in there? Security! He's coming for me. Okay. Watch out, the Marcus. Did I get it? It's off. Okay. standing there. I was standing right in front of his face and he was just standing there. Alright, well we got the access card. We need to get out of here. What's this? Konpeki Plaza. Oh, we already read this one. Am I going to get brutally just excoriated by, by my friends because I've made a... <laughs> I've completely butchered this. And I turned into a huge sprawl. So much for stealth, God. All right, let's get out of here, man. Come on. He's still alive, Jackie. You all right? What? Saburo Arasaka. 150 years. And today? Oh, fucking days. 
That's like some divine comedy shit. <laughs> Save your strength, Jackie. What do you think I'm doing? But she'll be. We'll get out alive. I believe it, Jackie. Tell Bug, why don't you? Maybe she'd still be alive if we hadn't been so gung fucking ho. Don't take this out on me. I can see how the chips are falling. She's dead? That wasn't our fault. She was discovered. She wasn't discovered because of us. That wasn't us, was it? Take more than that! Oh, insufficient ram. I can't do anything. Target hit. Careful, me. They got you. Where's my shotgun? When I need it. Jeez, it's a pea shooter. Oh my god. I don't have enough RAM. If I had enough RAM, this would be so much easier. I could reboot the optics, it couldn't see me.
Oh, what did I hit? I hit something. With you in a sec. I hit something that crippled it. Its health suddenly went all the way down. Many crickets. Well, we messed up messed up the beautiful sand sculptures here. Who's ready to party? That's a crying shame. Henry says the arms, aim for the arms. Is that what it was? Hit the arms, says Henry. Were the arms the weak spot? Okay, that must have been what it is. Well, I uh, <laughs> completely devastated my ammunition here. I'm out from my submachine gun. But maybe looting a few of these weapons helped. This little pistol packs a punch. It's not a bad little guy. Ooh, we got more lore. Lots of lore here. Oh, they're both on Con... Yeah, one's on Conpecky Plaza, one's on the Delamon Transport Services. I believe we've read both of those. Yep. Let's steal from the till while we're here. Why not? <laughs> 1C, 1C, 5, 5. Let's see, where's the 5, 5? It's over there. So... 1C, 1C, 5-5. Five, five. Bingo! Messages! Important! Please read from administration to reception. I have just been informed by City Hall that Kung Piki Plaza will receive the mayor of Night City and his guests. They will not stay the night, therefore please book one of the smaller conference rooms. This information is confidential, i.e. hotel staff should not be informed. Thank you, Olivia Alcott. Uh, then, uh, <clears throat> please read from administration. Two Militech representatives will arrive at the hotel this evening. Guests of Hajime Taki. Please direct them to him without delay. Same procedures as with HT's other previous contractors, i.e. exercise the utmost discretion. Turn off monitoring in the room. Do not offer any additional services. Thank you, Olivia Prescott, or Alcott. Files to do restaurant this week. Replacement of electrical systems in room two and three. Reconfiguration of holographic projectors in room one. Check remaining issues after uh, changing light intensity. Maybe order different models. Additional panel installation in the bar. Inform painting team, Fenard Blue is not the same as Turnbull Blue. Dock the new paints from the team's pay and fire fiddly. Warn Compeki administration that we need another week to finish up. And then we've got a local network here. Oh, we could hack the surveillance system. Let's uh, turn it off. We can't. Remote takeover. That's it. Oh, God.
Another one on Kung Peki Plaza. Wait, I've got ammunition for this now, don't I? Yeah. I looted a couple of weapons. Actually, speaking of which, let's see if I've got any better weapons than this. I've got a Shigure. Oh, I got a shotgun back, yeah. All right, all of these are better. 108, 107, 104. 107, 105. Okay. Let's go to my pistol. Of all of the pistols, this is the best. It's even better than my, um, than a shotgun. It does 132 DPS. Wow, that's not a bad weapon. Kanigu, this is the one we got in the suite. This was his weapon. And we do have another tactical shotgun here. But I think I'm going to keep my sword. It has saved my bacon on a number of occasions. Quick save. Come on, Jackie. Jackie, come on. Got it. How's our ride looking? Tip top. Though alas, we are being pursued. Sweet woman. Oh! Please remain calm. Huh? Roadblock ahead. Roadblock? <laughs> a hostile enemy aircraft has a lock on us. Leave it to me. Oh, really? My head! Star aircraft eliminated. Phew! <laughs> that was a weird bug! We did it, Jackie! We fucking made it! I guess we did. My medical diagnostics indicate that Mr. Wells' condition is critical. Take us to a ripper dock, now! Apologies, but that will not be possible. Our itinerary has been pre-arranged and paid for in advance. I am not at liberty to alter it. Fuck your liberty! Do what I say! It's okay, V. I'll hold out. I don't want to be right! Try to keep Mr. Wells conscious. It's gonna be alright, huh? You'll see Misty, your mom, everyone you love. <laughs> Everything I predicted! I don't Jackie, want it to be true! Don't close your eyes. Misty, I know. She always knew. No! 
Jackie! It. They set up all the plot points, his girlfriend, his mom, his dead brothers, naming a drink after him at the bar when he dies, and then what happens? Jack is dead. Mr. Wells has passed. Where shall I take his remains? Uh, wh what? The Excelsior package provides for the disposal of passenger remains free of charge. Of course it I does! I merely require a destination. Give me a sec, will you? Mr. Wells' remains. Where shall I take them? I want to be with his family. Mr. Wells' closest blood relative is Guadalupe Alejandra Wells, proprietress of the El Coyote Coho Bar. I will make sure to deliver him safely. Mr. Deshaun awaits you in room number 204. See you in the major leagues, Jack. Oh, look at the car. Oh, it got tore up. Bye, Jackie. Oh, God. Latam Wars. As a direct result of the armed conflicts on U.S. soil from the early 1990s until the early 2000s, Latin America, comprising South and Central America, remodeled itself into a strong federation of independent nations, bound through mutual aid and co cooperation. The U.S.'s military presence was forced from Latin America territories, with the exception of Panama, where it stood its ground despite fierce and, uh, pressure from guerrilla forces. Many researchers and contemporary historians maintain that, in fact, the Latam Wars were, were responsible for the U.S.'s eventual collapse. Breaking up the Gang of Four, CIA, FBI, DEA, and NSA, and decimating the U.S. Army. However, it's important to bear in mind that no external conflict could have toppled the colossus of Amer American imperialism were it not already built on clay foundations. Ooh, it's introspective, that. But with con confirmation that the United States has fallen in this universe, what are, what are they talking about the Second Amendment, right? It also should have gone the way by the wayside. The NCPD advises those traveling beyond official police jurisdictions to wear Protein Farms report. Protein farms are currently the source of most meat and meat substitute products in Night City. Biotechnica is the clear industry leader, providing for over half of the city's demand for alternative protein. Currently, the most popular, albeit cost-intensive, form of production is based on protein-rich crickets, which allow producers to achieve the highest quality protein. Earthworms are available as a cheaper alternative, achieving a higher yield of product per square meter. However, worms pose a much more difficult marketing challenge. While crickets have become acceptable, most consumers still bristle at being told to go eat worms. 
All right, I do need to make another text really quickly. Oh my God. What are these guys doing? Crime scene, that's police. Jackie. Ooh. What does that red, uh, that red icon mean? Broken down car, malfunction, body disposal. Oh, I can use it as body disposal. I see. So that's what the red icon means. Body disposal. Great. Let's sell. Got a lot of junk to sell. For 39 bucks. A lot of weapons we don't need. So 108. Well, let's sell every automatic or assault rifle and SMG that um, is worse. And these pistols are definitely worse. Uh, so that's worse. What is that? Light, power light machine gun. I'll save my machine guns for now. Now that's a shotgun. That's a double barrel, 103, 116. Well, we'll keep that one because I don't recall what the DPS of my other shotgun was. And now what's this one? Unity. 49 DPS. Ouch, that's really low. Guyland says, Ox, it seems like music is safe until the brain dance part. That's what they said yesterday, but then later in the day yesterday, CG Pro uh, CD Product Red, uh, Project Red came onto Twitter and said that there were other music uh, instances that caused streamers like myself to become demonetized and they can't they can't predict where all of them will be so they recommended any streamer just turn music all the way down which is what i've done so when they come back saying that they've fixed the issue then i'll feel comfortable putting the music back up so until then sadly the stream is without music <laughs> So I can hack these? He could now only watch Vulnerabilities the malfunction. Began to suffer more and more losses. I don't see a way to do it. I don't think I have the right quick uh, chip installed. According to family accounts, Suburo, gripped by despair and shame, had resolved to commit seppuku, but then changed his mind at the very last moment. Why? No one knows. From the day he nearly took his own life, Saburo Arasaka has refused to speak about his wartime experience with anyone. He devoted his complete attention to one thing alone, his work. Following the death of his father, Sasai Arasaka, in 1960, Saburo assumed control of the family business. Where's the TV? I don't want to miss the news. They're talking about what just happened. Becoming a world-leading corporate giant. I hear it on the radio, but... I want to see the TV broadcast about what just happened. He rose to number two in the rankings. At the most trying time in our history, Saburo Arasaka provided thousands of Americans with reliable work and helped us regain a sense of our former prosperity. For that, we will always owe him a debt of gratitude. Arigato gozaimasu, Saburo san. God. Avian Extermination Act. 
William says it was in the patch notes. Oh, did they make the fix already? Were they really that quick? Okay, well, well I, maybe I'll try it out then. The e AEA was adopted by the Night City Council on May 4th, 2063. Purpose, in the face of increasingly frequent and deadly zoonotic disease outbreaks, the City Council has decided that the most effective method for reducing the risk of infection among residents is via the extermination of all avian life within 18 miles of city limits. See figure one. Holy cow. It's quite extreme. The extermination process will begin on May 7th, 2063, once the call and selection of tenders for the contract have been completed. See Annex 2. Okay, well, if it really was in the, uh, the patch notes, thank you for that. I'll go ahead and risk putting the music back up. All right, music is back up. Thank you for that. Waiting. WNS, N54, even the pirate networks. You blowing up everywhere. And the Jackster, he out in the car. Yeah, he's there. Dead. Condolences, friend. And the relic. Got it right here. Hmm. I was afraid of that. What? Saburo Arasaka. Dead. You got any notion of the shit you pulled me into? Me? You off the fucking emperor! His majesty! Anyone with so much as a pinky toe dipped in this mess is as good as dead! Nanim says we get music again. You know what that means. Yes, I do. You're the one who got us into this mess. Let's start with your prep work. You had no idea Saburo Arasaka could be at the hotel. I don't have access to his personal fucking schedule. And besides, nobody asked you to kill the old man. That wasn't us. No shit. Tell that to the Sokka ninjas they send after you. All right, settle down. Gotta be tactical about this. Parker, Eddie's. Then we leave the city limits behind. But first, your face got blood all over it. Bathroom's there. Go get yourself cleaned up. Go to the bathroom, he says. In it's me. Hotel, he says. Yeah, shuttle I booked. Today. No, can't wait till dawn. Once. I have a feeling he's uh, he's gonna try to do something to me. Storm on the Mare Crisium. By now, we're all avid viewers of the reality TV show that is Orbital Politics. Except this is real life, and what happens up there could have real consequences for all of us down here. Recently, everyone's been talking about the attack on Ursula Correria, resulting in the complete loss of control in the lower half of her body. The media has been endlessly replaying remarks made by Corellia's younger brother, Wagner, while also discussing the latest outfit worn by Yara Ayode to the official press conference where she denied rumors that Corellia's family had any hand in her accident. I don't know about you, but all, about all of you, but with each passing day, the saying, what happens in orbit stays in orbit is starting to sound like dangerously wishful thinking. <laughs> I'll pay the premium. Spaceport Terminal 4. Got it. Well, he's got his flight booked. This goon is waiting for me to go into a bathroom. I don't like this. V, get yourself cleaned up. Oh. You're a mess. Yeah, I'll just walk into the bathroom. Who you calling? Evelyn Parker? Uh-uh. Docs. 
old tune from my time in uh, transport and logistics. It's all you need to know. Now get that blood off your face. There was an option to say no thanks a minute ago. All right, then. I don't want to go in there. So what's the plan? Do it yourself. So either way, <laughs> I had to put my back to the guy to talk to him. It moved my back around so that I wasn't facing him. Can't risk it, V. Remember our first convo? I'll fucking kill you! Seems I've chosen the quiet life after all. No blaze of glory for me. Doc Henry? There it is! Prologue over! Sometimes the game is rigged from the start. Interlude. Hey. What? Hey. Hey! All right. Never been better. Sure don't look it. That's Keanu Reeves. I think that means we're Johnny. You guys ready to rock? I can't let... Hey, hey, we're chill. Tonight, Here we go. I'm... I'm here to say goodbye to all of you. Why? Where are you going, Johnny? Is he gonna kill himself? No, okay. It's a guitar. So this is the interlude. Money's money, can't fuck around with it. Speaking. You're wasting your lives following us around like dogs. We curled up your ass. And we can talk. How much do you want for it? Uh huh. Okay. I want it today. Great. I didn't know we got to play part of the game as Johnny. Can we read lore with this guy or? I think it's pretty much uh, a straight shot. Johnny, wait up. Don't do this. You could still change your mind. Get over here, man. Fuck this band. Not your crowd, not your noise. Do your own thing. Bastard. I'm gonna miss you something awful. See you in the next life, friend. Road. My arm. I decide to sleep and who's done. Get in, or I change my mind. Didn't we hear about Rogue earlier? Till the hand. Hey, Shane. Get us in the air. Here, put this on, and it stays on. Got it? Mr. Master Chief says, ladies and gentlemen, John Wick, introduce. So why did Johnny decide to retire? Fears are on fire. Pacific has caught up, shut down. APC's on the streets of Watson. Sons of bitches. His voice acting Scott is a little, uh... Is that us? Johnny's idea. Wayland's drive. 
drawing Aristotle's attention away from the tower. Collateral damage part of the plan, too. This is for the Cub Scouts, Johnson. Chew it up, spit it out. She's the Queen Fixer, says Club Shot. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we saw her in that Fixer bar. She's the one with the big reputation. Maybe this is why she got the reputation. So this was 2023. Johnny leaves a rock band concert to invade? To shoot up these guys? Another access point. Get moving. Johnny, remember the plan? Get the payload on the elevator. Arm it. Let gravity do its thing. Explosion rocks the foundation. Tower crumbles. Chaos screaming roll credits. Exit window's gonna be tight. Jacking in. Grass green, do birds fly? Do cats eat bats? Do rats shit gnats? Mainframe's not your playground, Murphy. Come on. Evac announcement. Broadcast it across all frequencies and let's get moving. Sheesh. Who wrote this manifesto? Really need me to answer that question? Jesus, Johnny. You've gone off the deep end. That's coming from a chair jock. Come on. Open fire! Get ready. <laughs> Wow, Johnny's uh it's kind of a Johnny, badass. Payload. Bushido 2, bomb's name is what? Wrap it up! We got a delta! The Demolitron. We're good to blow. Shaka Elite Income! There, Run Johnny. for it! Shoot the cables! I would if I had a gun. Get the rotor spinning. Rotor there we go. Guess I had to fire it for it to appear. Not done yet. Still need to feed this to their subnet. Fucking knew it! This was never about Arasaka. This was about your groupie output, wasn't it? Not like you could ever understand, Brooke. You're on your own. I'm giving you four fucking minutes if you want to ride out of here. Door lock breached. Arasaka sons of bitches incoming. Love you, Spider. All world loves me. So Johnny can die. All right, well, let's see. What am I supposed to be doing in here? Door locked. Arizona sons of bitches incoming. You want to ride out of here. 
Love you, Spider. Whole world loves me. Shoot! Shoot! All right, where's the access point? Gonna help or not? Do spiders spin webs? It's time we caught some flies. Thanks, Murph. Now, just for good measure. Holy cyber cow. We're on TV. Take a look. Turn now to Arasaka Tower. It's evacuation ongoing after an unidentified terrorist organization released a manifesto threatening violence. The terrorists stating their desire to, quote unquote, topple a monument to corporate colonialism. Night City's mayor, Mbole Ebunike, has issued a statement declaring that he will bring the full force of the law to bear in response to any act of terrorism. Going now to our reporter on the scene at Arasaka Tower. Hopefully he can shed some light on the situation as events unfold. All set. Now get out of there. They're moving up. Hit the roof quick. Survive. Smasher. Told you, Johnny Boy. Told you I'd end you someday. Whoa! Off goes his arm. Well, how did he get past his first encounter? They skipped through that and we went straight to the roof. Try once more. Your associates. Who are they? How did you acquire fistful material? Gonna give good cop over there a chance to say something? Come on. <sighs> Which terrorist organization do you belong to? How did you acquire fistful material? <sighs> Hey, Gramps. I know you. Let's see. died in that tower. 
But there are fates worse than death. Uh-oh. I didn't want him to die. Naze Kono Yuna Koto. Why did you do this? To bring an end to the madness, you freak. See the bomb in the background, says Brian? I do. Shower So Johnny was responsible for the detonation yeah. that ended the war between Arasaka and Militech back in the 2030s. He and his terrorist organization were the ones who detonated the bomb. Oh. Where is he now? And you, who are you? So did they install that 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 AI that they were working on inside Johnny? Is that what's going on right now? This part reminds me of De Detroit Become Human. Remember the landfill scene? What have we here? Was that Dax? Ugh, heavier than he looks. Now, listen, dog. I have done exactly what you asked. So let's you and me figure this out. <laughs> That's how he lost his eyes. Arasaka-sama, Otoo-sama no sasugai han o mitsukemashita. Kono otoko de machigai arimasen. Hai. Ichi jikan go ni hatsuku ka to. Fuck! Quiet! Are we still back in the 2030s, or did this jump to present day? Because da Dax looked 
much different. So that's still the past? It still looks like the 2030s. are V now. Somehow failed that. All right, well, we'll try again. I was dumping everything I had into those bikes. And Mike says you jumped back into 2077 was in the bottom corner. So Dex is dead then. Oh. You hear me? I need your help. All right, I'm trying to aim for the tires, but those bikes are just...
We both could use medical attention. Do you know a Reaper dog whom you can trust? I know. Someone. We must get the Reaper dog. Quickly! Did well back there. Do not waste time. Hector... will... fix... us up. We have to get there somehow. Call someone. Anyone. All right, all right. Greetings. My scanner indicates you are outside the service area. Of course. Just come pick me up. Need to get to Misty's Esoteric. Front of Vix. Of course. A vehicle is en route. It should arrive in less than 20 minutes. What are you doing? Hey! The personal link is damaged. Please proceed to insert the jack below the ear. Though not too deep. There should be auxiliary neuro sockets between his lymph nodes, beneath the SCM muscle. If I hit the vein by mistake, he will die. Indeed, as he will if you do nothing. I think I have the socket. Now proceed to connect. So the taxi AI is also a medical expert. Let's That's get him great. inside. I cannot hold it. I need to rest. That your blood? Misty! Oh, poor Misty. We've got to inform her. Pressure's tanking. It's neurogenic shock. He's dying. Gotta cut my way through the occipital bone. No other way. There is risk of... I know what I'm doing. Well, I think we're going to look quite different uh, when we're done with this, if he had to cut through the occipital bone. What about our friend? Tony J says, Taxi, Midwife, and Surgeon. The title of my next book. <laughs> How is he? Slower on the men than you, but looking better every day. Seeing shit. These hallucinations. Describe them to me. Blinding lights. It's loud. I'm on stage and I almost can't breathe. I'm so damn full of hatred. And then I let it all out into a mic. And I realized it didn't help. I don't feel any better. And then. I promise not to laugh. I plan a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. Night City looked different. Strange. And I hated it. 
hated everybody. Every inch. It was too real. Even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. There's a personality construct on that shard. Dreams you had were from his past. Saying I experienced another Psyche's memories? How's that possible? You two are connected in a way I can't make head or tail of. Two? Me and who, Vic? Who's the other? Johnny Silverhand, a terrorist. Real talk of the town back in my day. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. Miwi says the one who voiced Jackie Wells, rest in peace, big guy, voiced Captain John Marshall in Rage 2. Oh. Talk to me. Thank you for that. Never given me that look before, Vic. What is it? You, uh. Don't got a lot of time left, kid. Say what now? The biochip. It's basically a bomb. Fuse lit already. You don't have much time left. Much. Life. A few weeks, tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness, gradually taking over your body until one day you'll just be gone. V, it's important you get all this. You'll fix me up, right? Vic? If I could, I would, V. Believe me. But this is... It's way beyond what I know how to do. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? You want the long story or the short? Don't admit a thing, not one deep. Okay, there was, is, a construct. A psyche on the chip. That of Johnny Silverhand. You jacked it in your chip slot. Nothing happened, right? Until you died. Bullet in the head from Dexter to Sean. But how do you come back from something like that? Low caliber, you lucked out. Not least thanks to another poor decision by Mr. Deshaun. The nanites off the chip started fixing the damage. Then they took your hand and coaxed you off the path toward the light. You're Dr. Victor, and I'm your monster. Perfect. Your body's only a body. You can modify it, replace it with chrome, hell, get a new one altogether. Your mind, though? No, oh, that's a whole nother story. From the biochip's perspective, your brain cells are a tumor that needs to be scooped out, while your body's an empty shell to hold the construct. So this fucking terrorist wants to wipe me and take my place, take my body. It's not willful on his part, it's automatic, inevitable, and neither of you can stop it. Can't we just take the chip out or switch it off? Either way is out of the question. You die immediately. Fuck. I remember this thing. Saw it on TV. What was that stupid slogan? Soul something? Secure your soul. But that's it. It's just supposed to let you communicate with constructs. Maybe, but this is a prototype by the look of things. Somehow made it out of Arasaka Labs. Stefan Bernard with a tip. Thank you very much, Stefan. And Miwi says the one who voiced Victor Vector is Michael Gregory. All right, thank you, Miwi. V? Vic, you've always come through for me. If there's nothing you can do to help me, then... Well, what the hell do I do? Tell me, please. Vic, 
I wish I knew, kid. Misty? Well, maybe there's a way to download V's personality onto a chip, too, so that we can You're insert that into a new for body. A timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home. And then he died. I thought I was gonna die. With him in my sleep. Sleep's a small hint of death. The inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. Here, got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly, they'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizine's from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. What? Okay. Giving me a pill to prod that son of a bitch so he can kill me faster? Listen, you're likely to be fine for a while. But sometime down the road, it could turn into pure agony. I'm giving you options, honey. The brain could be tricked. Plain old painkillers do that. Your psyche's gonna die, V. You'll feel your old self slipping away. At some point, you won't recognize yourself. It'll be terrifying. It'll be painful. But it doesn't have to be. The fuck I need pills for? Ought to just stick a gun in my mouth and pull the trigger. Well, that way you'd kill two souls. Is that what you want? Jocelyn Ryan says, hey there, Ox. Late to the stream, but enjoying what I've caught since I missed last night. Take my money, lol. <laughs> well, thank you, Jocelyn. I appreciate it. Last night was a lot of fun. I hope you watch the replay if you get time. Mr. Master Chief says, kind of looks like blue and red pills box from the Matrix she gives. Yeah, what are the odds? We've got Keanu Reeves in our head and somebody gives us a blue pill and a red pill. That can't have been an accident. I gotta lie down. Here, got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm? Sweet. Promise you'll try to get some sleep. Didn't you hear? My condition's terminal. What good can this do? Don't be silly. As long as you're alive, there's hope. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You really think I can make it? Survive this? Of course you can. I mean, you did already die and come back once, didn't you? Misty, wait. Uh, about Jackie. Yeah? I'm so fucking sorry Jack's not here anymore. Jackie was special. Really spiritually rich. He touched so many people with his love. Don't worry. He'll be around. Sure you'll be all right? I'll be fine. Life is so beautifully powerful. So much more powerful than death. But right now, you need rest. So sleep. Please sleep. Miwi says Rogue, who we saw earlier in the Silverhand thing, is voiced by Jane Perry, who voiced Verlaine in Alien Isolation. It's funny how all these games converge.
I hear static. Gotta get out of here, understand? Oh, cool! And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way. You included. Sweet, are we gonna see Johnny sporadically throughout the game just appearing in our line of sight? That's hilarious. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? I did not expect this particular role for Johnny in the game. I thought he'd be like a side quick character we interacted with. I didn't think he'd be so, I guess, intimately involved in the main character. Don't smoke. Then go out and get some. Just need one last one. Jesus fucking Christ, man. The fuck kind of joy toy are you supposed to be? Fucking ghost off! He's just gonna sit in my house, isn't he? Whoa! Who you work for? Start talking! Fuck. So Johnny has no idea. He's figuring it out Fucking at the same time. Chip. Rip the thing out myself. No wait. Oh. I'll take control. I'll find a way. You hear me? Oh man, this is trippy. What the heck? <laughs> Mr. Master Chief says, seems like Johnny has some Agent Smith power now. Yeah, it's looking that way. Is that my only option to block him? See you never, asshole. Now like that, stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger. <laughs> Buy Cyberpunk 2077. Get abused gotcha. by Keanu Reeves. I'm like I'm mold on fruit, fruit creeping into you. you. Nothing, Nothing I can, I can do, do about it. it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Ryan says I love Johnny. He's a wild character. Fuck it. Fuck. Leave me alone. Get out. Just get the fuck out. Let to the head only thing that will fix this. Hear me, asshole? A bullet to the fucking brain. Fuck me. Jeez. <laughs> Act two. Wow. Uh, dear Mr. V, I would like to inform you that Mr. Wells's body has been delivered to his family. Okay, new quest, act two, playing for time. Let's see what the quest log says. 
check your email, stock up on ammo, open your inventory and put on some clothes and leave the apartment. That's it. Well, brother, looks like we got ourselves into a real fix. No chance in hell I'm wriggling myself out of this one, but you're still alive. And as Misty says, as long as you're alive, there's hope. Fate's given you a second chance, so use it. Get back on your feet. Do that and consider your best friend's last wish fulfilled. Check our messages. Rent past due. From Mega Building Administration, dear sir or madam, our records show that you have not, uh, we have not received this month's rent. Payment for your unit in Mega Building H10 in accordance with the tenancy agreement. Any subsequent payment delay will, was, will result in forced eviction from the property. Oh, great. Now we gotta, we got to pay our rent. Nets the si uh, the same. Well, you guys are going to want to listen to... Uh Chat's favorite. Oh good, I still have all of my weapons. There's my shotgun. Where's the stuff that I looted? Oh, there it is, the Kongu. So the Satori is better than the Black Unicorn. So we'll store that. Uh, as for a pistol, it's way better. I'm going to store that because I don't have the um, equipment for or the the right uh, stats for it. Christian says, I've had nights like that. Wake up in a running shower and wonder how I got there. Oh, haven't we all? All right, lots of clothes. Let's uh, put some clothes on. I got a better derby from that? or No, that's a trilby. Ooh, classic square glasses with UV filter. 32, 29, 25. Composite Arasaka armor. Still got the kilt. <laughs> and then I got those gold tipped boots. Bandage wrappings. So that's an outfit that I can wear. Or the hazmat suit. Let's see. Let's put that assault rifle. Let's try the shotgun. It's got lower DPS by a lot. Well, maybe I'll keep my pistol then. Stock up on ammo optional. How do I stock up on ammo from here? Oh. Takemura here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Thomas Diner. I am waiting. Okay. Well, I got ah, my ammo. Shit. What? 
Mega Building H10 Administration informs you that your vehicle is available for collection in the nearby parking garage. We wish you a pleasant day. That's a job. So we gotta get our we gotta get our car. Ooh, and a new message from Bart Moss Collective. The best weapon against capitalism is uninterrupted meditation. Okay. New job, beat on the brat. We're getting a bunch of stuff right now. Beat on the brat, the Glen. Beat on the brat, Arroyo. Playing for time. Oh, look at all these side gigs. Be it on the brat, Arroyo. Heard somewhere the champ of Arroyo. Oh, this is the, uh, the boxing. Got you. Collect your, collect your reward from Wakako, from the gig. Oh, I need, I should probably go do that, huh? For the side job. There's the main job. Now, Chad is, uh, let's see. Brian says, go to the garage and get your car for a fun little quest. All right, we'll track that one. No Name says, are you going for the 90s rapper look? <laughs> now, I'm just wearing, I'm wearing uh, the, the best gear that I've got so far. Not really going for any sort of look. Mr. Master Chief says, any idea what Japanese song was Ox? No idea. Uh, look, uh, there we go. We are into act two now. We've got our new quests. I'm going to have to do a hard save here. There we go. And uh, we're going to end the broadcast. Thanks for joining me for part four of Cyberpunk 2077. We'll go ahead and pick up right here where we leave off on Monday, 10 o'clock a.m. Pacific time for part five of Cyberpunk 7077. Uh, and we'll continue to play Cyberpunk throughout the week. That's the plan. Now, for the weekend, I do have a Fallout 76 lore video for you on the random encounters of Fallout 76. It's a lot of fun. I hope you guys will enjoy that. Thank you so much for coming. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Enjoy the game yourselves. Have a great night. And I'll see you soon for more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now.